Hello everybody and welcome to Memorial Stadium in Indiana. Today, Wake Forest looks to go 2-0 after a scare game last game at home in front of the Winston-Salem fans, the Golden Black fans, against FCS West Fusion, which they needed their kicker to kick a game-winning field goal as time expired to win the game. Today, a very different opponent in the Indiana Hoosiers. Hoosier Nation, they are also 1-0. They will look to go 2-0. On paper, this is a very even matchup. Give Wake Forest the offensive advantage. Give Indiana the defensive advantage. Give the overalls the same rating. So, it should be a lot of fun for Wake Forest. You need Wayne Haynes, you need Richie Miles, and you need your defense. Especially on third down if you want to have a shot against this explosive Indiana team. They look to go 2-0. Wake Forest looks to go 2-0. Ladies and gentlemen, someone's going to walk out of here today 2-0. The only question is, who will it be after 40 minutes of football? Welcome to Memorial Stadium in Indiana, the great state of Indiana, that is, for week two of the 2019 college football season. Kickoff is underway, and we are live Travis Jones will set to return this for the Deacons. Three yards deep in the end zone. He has room. He makes a move out to the 20, to the 30, to the 34-yard line. That's where Wayne Haynes, Richie Miles, and the Deacon offense will take charge. First play that you guys will see today in the sunshine state of Indiana, not Florida. Richie Miles, well, he's going to step up. He sees no one. Gets popped on an 8-yard rush, but... He hangs onto the ball, and he is A-OK. -okay. So that will bring up a third and manageable five yards. So from third and five from their own 35-yard line, shotgun right, Wayne Haynes with Richie Miles in the backfield. Miles, three-step drop, shifts a little to his right. Has Matt Burns found a hole in the defense of the Hoosiers, and he picks up a new set of chains. First and ten now from their own 48-yard line near midfield, already just two minutes into the first quarter. I formation, Haynes handoff, he has room up the middle, spin move, he has more room and he's down to the Hoosier, 33 yard line, Haynes last season, 9 yards per catch, 564 yards total, with 4 touchdowns, first and 10, handoff to Haynes again, has room sort of up the middle, but again, makes his work known, 19 touchdowns, 1759 yards on the ground last year, We'll see if he can improve that. Haynes now again one more time on the run down to the 10. And even more stats for Haynes. Last game he had 27 rushes, 216 yards and a touchdown. Again, he will look to improve on that today against an Indiana defense who has their right outside linebacker hurt. And speaking of right outside linebacker, maybe they needed him there because Haynes is into the end zone. Touchdown, Deacons. 6 nothing. Wake Forest. Watch the replay from the overhead cam. Uh, Hoosiers, you miss two, three, maybe four guys there who tackle Haynes, and the Deacons are on top 7 nothing. Studio update, first one of the day. Mid-Tennessee State in Death Valley, South Carolina, to take on the Clemson Tigers, ranked number 14 in the country. Clemson, while they are down here, they would go on to win 31-28. Back to our game in Indiana, 4 9 to play in the first quarter. Wake Forest has the ball after a Indiana 3 and out. Haynes back again. With the rushing, he picks up seven. It's second and three. Now, I have formation. Miles, quick three-step drop, finds J.D. Horton. He has seven yards, and that is a new set of downs for Wake Forest. From their own 34, uh, Miles, not Willis. Miles finds Matt Burns. He burns his defenders, and he takes it to the house. All the way to the eye in Indiana. 14-0 Deacons early, but Indiana would fight back in front of their cream and crimson colored fans. That a big hit by the Wake Forest secondary, but not before Daniel Brown, the player to watch for Indiana today, picks up a first down. Walker now looks. Michael Walker finds Michael Marquardt for a big yard gain, 24 yards, and a new set of chains. 31, Walker quarterback keeper, untouched, could have walked in on that Walker, could have touched down Hoosiers, they're not out of it yet, 14-7. So far, before the end of the first quarter, 
yards at a premium number. High, high, high explosive offenses. It should be a fun rest of the game. 4.30 to go in the second quarter and in the first half from Indiana. This is Joseph getting found. Carl Joseph, 22 yards from Michael Walker. And now that will set up a second and seven. Shotgun, Walker looks, finds his tight end, Palmer. Leon Palmer picks up seven, but it's third and inches. Third and inches, no huddle offense from Indiana. This one, quarterback keeper one more time. Walker shoves off two Demon Deacons, shoves off three, and will get taken down at the Wake Forest 41. Ten yards and a new set of downs. Third and six now. Shotgun right. Walker looks. He finds Lewis, and that is John Lewis for 19 yards. That sets up first and goal a couple plays later. Three minutes to go in the first half. Walker back in the end zone two. Who else? Daniel Brown. Touchdown Hoosiers, 14 all, but their party would get canceled. Reservations for six. Wayne Haynes and company takes it from the five. Haynes gets one block, gets two. He is on a foot race. One man to beat. He gets him on the step back and he falls into the end zone. Wayne Haynes, 95 yards. Could not make it look any easier. Two crucial blocks, though, from their special teams right there. 87. How about the third string tight end on that play? Yeah, he deserves recognition. And then Haynes pulling out a little Heisman move. Currently your Heisman leader coming into week number three. I think I said week two in the beginning, but week three for the 2019 season. Week two for Wake Forest. They had to buy week, week one. First and 10, though, for Indiana. They waste no time. Eric Byers sleeping, maybe on the plane ride and in coverage on that play. Indiana not out of it. 1.45 to go. Daniel Brown once again, 12 yards. He is over 50 yards on the day. Walker, quarterback keeper. Well, you can't stop him, so you might as well join him. Keep shaking off defenders, and that would lead to a Michael Walker to Carl Joseph touchdown. The number two option in the wide receiver core for Indiana ties the game, and that's how we go into halftime from Indiana and Memorial Stadium 21-21. Wake Forest, they're playing worse defense than they did against the Fusion last week at home at Winston-Salem, but Indiana is a high-explosive offensive team, so don't put it past them. On the other side for Wake Forest, their offense is on all cylinders. They are not having to fight back. They are not having to struggle against an FCS or an FBS team, however you want to call the fusion. But they are having their times where they can do a lot better. Third down conversions. Let that be an example. They have had multiple third down and a mile for Indiana. They just have converted every time. For Wake Forest, you got to patch that out. Get maybe your linebackers or safeties to creep up and help. So far, halftime stats. Each team looking very, very nice. For Wake Forest, they are one yard shy. Or sorry, 11 yards shy of 200. For Indiana, they are over 200. Time of possession about equal. 11.30 for Wake Forest. 8.30 for Indiana. Turnovers. Well, we haven't seen any yet, but maybe that's a curse because the first play in the second half, tied at 21, Indiana ball, Michael Walker, Byers beware. Eric Byers jumped the route perfectly, and there was a clearance on that Indiana afternoon. Byers, you'll see him in the replay. He just jumped it perfectly. And no one was near him. 28-21, Wake Forest on top, 4.50 to go in the third. No score so far after the Byers INT to begin the second half. Andrews now in, Johnny Appleseed Andrews looking for it all. And he's intercepted. The reason Johnny Andrews is in, folks, Richie Miles went down with a concussion. He is out for the game. We will get his status next week. 28-21. Wake Forest, Carl Joseph becoming the man on the scene for Indiana, not Daniel Brown. Walker still in the game for Indiana. 
This one though, HB Screen. This one is gonna go all the way down. Brandon Pearson, you haven't heard his name called a lot. That's because they haven't used him a lot in the run game or in the halfback game. But when they got down to the goal line, they used him pretty good. Brandon Pearson bowls over two Deacon defenders. And this game one more time is tied 28-28. Fourth and 18 though, 8.55 to go in the last quarter of regulation from week three of the 2019 college football season. Travis Jones would, uh, he'd like to get camera time. He sets up the Deacons from the 30. That punt was from the 49-yard line, so a good return there. Andrew slope screen to Wayne Haynes, the Heisman leader. He's going to make his moves work, and it's third and three. Nine-yard reception on second and 12. So far, Andrews is looking very good for a replacement role. Third and three, they need this, though. Andrews rolls out right. He has Haynes on the dump. And first and goal, well, first and goal, first and ten for the Deacons would transpire into second and three. That would transpire into first and goal and a touchdown. Wayne Haynes, the second touchdown of the day on the ground. One special teams. He has three total touchdowns, and they take the lead. How about an upset every once in a while? Those are fun, right? Air Force knocks off Northwestern. Number 23 Northwestern at Air Force. The Falcons pick up their first win of the year. Northwestern, first loss, falls to 2-1. 35-28, Wake Forest, 5-40 in county to go in the final quarter of regulation from Memorial Stadium. Indiana on their own, 25. Walker looking. He has Palmer. He gets away from more Deacon defenders. Story of the game for Wake Forest, tackling issues all the way around. First and ten, more tackling issues. Daniel Brown hasn't stopped him all day. Not going to do it there. But on third and five, they finally get a stop. And here is the play of the game for the defense of Wake Forest. Fourth and two, you stop him. You can almost run out the clock with your offense and how it's been playing. It's going to be an option. Walker keeps and He will go nowhere. Michael Walker. Thought about flipping it, but good coverage by Cook there on the defense. Forces Walker to save it, and he cannot get the first down. Now Wayne Haynes is turned to do some damage. He gets all the first downs they need on third down, and with 19 seconds left in Indiana out of timeouts, this is your final play of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Wake Force walks in. 35-28, final they improved to 2-0. Next week, week 4 of the 2019 college football season, Wick Forest has their second bye week and their final bye week next week. So we will co will coverage, sorry, we will cover the Richie Miles injury. We will cover what has happened so far in college football. And for Wayne Haynes, the season couldn't get better. 159 more yards on the ground, 27 more carries, and three more touchdowns. Wake Forest, 2-0.